Drawing a circle by specifying the center point and radius. Here I have four lines that make up a rectangle. Next I'm going to try to put a circle in the center of this. And I'm going to go up to the, to the circle uh, command. I can hit the down arrow. You can see I have circle center point. And now it's asking me to select the center of the circle. So as I drag over here, you'll see that it will actually put a, like a tracking line. And it's found two tracking lines. That means, hey, it's found the center of these. I'll click with my left mouse button, and I can drag it out, and it's going to ask me then for the radius of this circle. And I'll type in 0.5, and I'll hit Enter. And I've now got a, uh, I drew a circle by specifying the center point in radius. So if I wanted to put another circle in, I can come up and pick on a circle. I come over here, and I can key in. Uh, any particular value I want I can just come over and say let's come off of the center line there and we'll, we'll come over uh, say a half inch and uh, let's go with uh, uh, yeah, let's go right here and we'll pick and we'll say we want to go with a quarter inch let's say this time and uh, we'll do this again we'll We'll pick up off the center, and we'll drag it out, and we'll say we want to go right here, and pick, and we'll drag it out, and we'll put in a quarter inch again. And so now we just place three circles in using the center point and radius. Now remember, I'm not so worried about exact measurements all the time, because we can always come back and using parametrics, we can always come back in here and change the size of these circles or its position. So I'm not always worried about the exactness. If, if I can, fine. If not, oh well, we can fix it later. So draw in a circle by specifying the center point and radius.